Alrighty, what's going on guys, and welcome to War Thunder, yeah, anyways, uh, this is a, this game is in its open beta stage, and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and play it, so I've never played it before, so here we go, go ahead and start up with the tutorial. So if you can hear me drinking, I just got him from school a little thirsty. New missions. Sweet. <sighs> Alright, so we're flying. Here we go. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. This is pretty easy, actually. It's not that hard. And we're in. There we go. Nice job. Alright, here we go, we're going to have to destroy this balloon thing. Alright, cool. Alright. Nice, that's not even this hard. This game isn't that hard, actually. to destroy a mobile target and lead your fire. Down. Get down. Mission accomplished. Return to base. Wow, this game isn't that hard. This game's kind of fun, actually. Hmm. Nice. We did the fighter. Let's continue. Oh my god, this music's really loud. Alright. So the only features available right now is air war, I guess. Oh, wow. Alright, we're gonna do these tutorials real quick. Mm. Alright, so... Uh, along with the... Uh, with this video coming out today, we will also be having a Texture Pack Tuesday come out, so don't worry. That's still there. I just wanted to try this game out, and why not record it? Because I think I'm going to be recording some gameplay for commentaries and such. So, it's going to be pretty fun. This game seems pretty cool, and it's only in its open beta. I might actually buy it when it comes out. I don't know if it'll be released on Steam or not. But, uh, yeah. Welcome to the tarmac. Today, you will take your first flight. Try to follow the instructions carefully, and don't be discouraged by any difficulties. Let's get going. In order for the plane to take off, it needs to build enough speed. I'm increasing engine power to maximum. Now I can release the torque meter. The plane will gather speed. Now that my speed is high enough, the plane will slowly lift off the ground. I can use the elevation rudder to make it take off faster. Now the plane is in the air. I'm waiting for it to build up enough speed so that it doesn't fall back to the runway. Then I'll retract the landing gear and flaps. Take off complete. My plane is now airborne. Alright. 
Let's do it. Before you attempt to take off, let's review your knowledge of aircraft controls. The first one is the elevation rudder. It's also called the elevator. As the name suggests, this control is used for ascending and descending. Try it yourself. All right. Oh, shit, the control. When you push the elevator down, the plane goes up. When you push the elevator up, the plane goes down. I think that's clear enough. The second control directs the ailerons. Ailerons are used to roll the plane left and right. When you use this control, it makes the aileron on one wing go up, and the one on the other wing go down. Try it. The next control is the rudder. Oh, you can't actually see it. Okay. And when taxiing. Apply it carefully. See for yourself how it works. Oh, you can actually see that one work. Now you are ready for takeoff. It's time to try your plane out in the air. All right. The throttle lever regulates engine power. Position the throttle lever at full forward position. Your plane will start gathering speed. Your speed and current engine power are shown as a percentage on the indicators. Watch the plane carefully while it's building speed. Congratulations on your first takeoff. Trust me, when piloting planes, takeoff isn't exactly the easiest part. Make sure you keep an eye on your altitude, especially when maneuvering the plane. You have a special altitude indicator to help you. Alright, so we're in the air, and we had our first successful takeoff. So that's pretty good. So it looks like the the thing, the speed, and the throttle is actually man-powered, so you don't have to hold it down. Oh, jeez. Oh, that turns it really fast. Alright. Alright, we're rolling. Excellent. Now for the rudder. You can use it to change the course of the plane slightly. Alright. In order to make a sharp turn, you shouldn't use the rudder. It's not meant for that. Now I will teach you how to control your airplane speed. Your airplane speed decreases when you gain altitude and increases when you lose altitude. The ability to effectively convert one into another is the key to your victory in combat. The throttle lever also helps you control your speed. You used it to build enough speed for takeoff. If you drop engine power, your speed will decrease. Try that now. Increase engine power to return to cruising speed. Sometimes, you need a quick, short-term increase in flight speed. This can be achieved by using the afterburner. Accelerate the plane. Be careful when using the afterburner. It overheats the engine, and might cause it to give out. Alright, so we can't use that. Oh. The engine gave out on him. Turning the plane should be easy for you. To turn, use the ailerons and the elevator. First, you need to roll the plane left or right. Now, make the turn by pulling the control yoke. Now you've learned the ropes, let's move on to the final... Oh, so that's pretty line. easy. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, we're going down! Oh, boy! Oh boy! Oh, that was almost bad. <laughs> Proceed to the designated route. That was almost bad. Oh boy. Alright, so we need to go... 
shift. That'll take us down. There we go. There we go, we're going down, oh god, oh lord, oh, oh god, oh lord, oh Jesus, it's a fire, oh lord Jesus, it's a fire, oh lord Jesus, it's a fire, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, no, oh, oh, pull up, 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 oh, we're good, we're good, we're good, pull up, pull up, pull up, oh, ouch. Oops. Oopsies. We have a problem. So it looks like it's going to take a little bit more to get the hang of it than I thought. Maneuvering is not the easiest. So. Oh well. I mean, only one pilot down. That's okay though. We're good. We're good. It's all good. We're still in flight school, so hopefully that was just a training dumpy. A dummy, and we're just, uh, you know. I mastered it, but I just, I, I just crashed. But I, I just crashed. All right. I mean, whatever you say. I mean. That didn't look very good to me. I mean, I kind of blew up. So. Alright. So, I guess that's pretty much it. So, that's all I got for you now, guys. Uh, if you like this game, go ahead and tell me. Sorry I didn't really talk. I was trying to listen and learn and process things on how to actually play this game. Because I've actually never played it before. So, anyways, guys. That's it for me right now. I'll see you guys in a little bit on Texture Pack Tuesday, but thanks for watching, and peace.